we, before we talk about hugging face and the work you do there uh, i'd like to know how you sort of uh, became well versed with machine learning concepts you self educated yourself so uh, oh, yeah. how was that process so what did you do i mean you learned you went through books uh, online materials learning tutorials so how was that process yeah so um <clears throat> so the way i did it is very um I mean, everybody probably has to learn his own way. So my way of, le of learning is usually to find like very exhaustive books, like uh, big books, like real thing that I can that I can read and just read them, doing the exercise and read them cover to cover and writing notes and like. So I read like um, three or four bo full books. I think that they are all very interesting. Um, I think if I could give one advice, I think sometimes. Online learning is is a bit overrated. Uh, I would I like better offline learning, as I call it, which is reading books. Because online learning, a lot of uh, the blog posts you will find they are written by by beginners basically who are also learning. It's a good it's a good way to learn to write a blog post. But um, only reading blog posts from beginners will you you won't see the full big picture behind right. it. Because when it's somebody who is like senior in the field who writes even an introduction blog post, there is actually a lot of underlying uh, uh, um, wise, uh, I don't know, like, yeah. There's a background the, uh, that comes from yeah. their experience. So they can put that in their words to yeah. the blog. But not, exactly. that's not even something that you can simple. have a beginner sort of uh, blog writer get that into their posts. Yeah, just because they are or they are still learning, right? So okay. they will tell you basically what they have understood, but maybe there are something, like they, they can't really tell you, oh, this is very important and this is not important, just mm. because they don't know yet. So, so, yeah, I think it's good to really carefully select what you read. And the more we go into the this increasing exponential production of, of, uh, of AI blog posts and AI uh, sharing knowledge, which is great, uh, I think, but uh, the more we go into this, the harder it is actually to, to tell the, the good from the bad, I think. Mm. And to be sure that you are reading something from somebody who actually is very good also. So I think, it's, yeah, it's good to be very um, selective in what you read. And usually the best way for me is just to buy like a good book that people say it's a good book. And the book books are also underrated. I think people think we find everything online, but you, you won't find everything. Like like reading Kevin Murphy, a uh, probabilistic approach to machine learning is just something you you won't be able to make it by just reading online blog posts. Yeah. yeah. So compared to uh, more formal ways of education, like attending school or college and universities and sort of attending lectures. So compared to that, how was this process of self-educating yourself i mean could you draw any comparisons between mm. the two yeah so i think it, just making it for from book alone is also very difficult uh so i think in the end after after you've read a little bit it's good to see where you feel like you're kind of weak so for me on the <clears throat> on the statistical method and like um there was something i wanted to like dive back into it again so i took a few classes i took uh, one classes from edx on yeah just basic uh, probabilistic models and like yeah diving back into this and also took a few Coursera the the, the Coursera class on the, on the graphical models because I, I felt like I, I was also a bit uh, lagging behind and this is good because you will be forced to do a lot of exercises and um, and to confront to the things that you may not be sure you really know well so yeah yeah you need to do that I think but then in the end, I'm really impressed by uh, how you can, if you're motivated enough, how much you, you can learn from an online experience only. That was my first experience of really learning only on my own. And um, I think it's really good. The good thing is that you can really focus on the things you want to learn. So you're always like super motivated. So that's really great. While you, while you go to university, there is like half of the class, you're like, I don't really <laughs> like this. So yeah. I'm not interested in it.